<sighs> it's 2009, an hour and a half into it. This is my messy bedroom. The bed's not made. There's crap everywhere. <sighs> Wait a minute. There I am. And so I felt like doing a video, a low tech, off the cuff, just what I'm thinking about and uh, stuff like that. So let's see if I can put my camera in a spot and maybe uh, say a few things. Let's stick some money in here and give it some things like that. I'll step back. No, that's not. Good. We need more light, don't we? What if I... Now I'm back, and I'm too close to the camera, but that's okay. Here's what I'm going to talk about. It's going to be real quick. Um, the lack of free will in the Christian worldview. Now, Christians want to say that we have free will, because they innately know that if we don't have free will, then we're simply puppets being manipulated under the invisible strings of an omniscient, all-powerful puppeteer dancing around for his pleasure only. And they innately know that that's, well, kind of immoral if you really think about it. You're basically causing people to do things against their will. I mean, we put people in prison for that. You have sex with a woman against her will, it's called rape, and we put people away for that. So it's not really uh, right, it's not proper, it's not moral to make someone do something against their will. And that's exactly what I'm claiming Christianity does. And there's basically, I see two doctrines, there may be more, but I see two doctrines that um, take away our free will. One is the idea that God has everything figured out. He's all-knowing, all-powerful, all-sovereign, and everything is already planned out, you know, down to everyone's decisions, everyone's actions. Okay, so in this scenario, we have a God who is basically, he's all, everything's already figured out. Before anything happened, it's already planned, it's already done, it's a done deal. Hang on a minute. It was reflecting into my eyes. It was killing me. There, that's better. Uh, so, basically, everything's done. We just have to play our parts. So, there's no free will. I can't choose to do something. God's already decided what I'm going to do. Okay? This is, this is not a good thing. If you don't agree with that, then you must not have read chapter 9 of the book of Romans, where Paul goes into some detail to explain how that God is sovereign, and that God does choose people before they're born, and that we have no right to question God at all. In fact, Paul says that God raised up Pharaoh, and when he says raised up, he means God brought Pharaoh into a uh, the position of power just so that he could crush him and show how great God was. Paul also says that who is the pot, who is the uh, pottery to say to the potter, why did you make me this way? People who are destined to hell cannot ask or say to God, why have you created me to go just to go to hell? We can't we have no you know, we have no reason to question God like that. That was Paul's answer in chapter 9 of Romans. And he, he, Paul believed that God was in control. He, was, he had already chosen everyone who was going to be saved. Paul says in chapter 9 of Romans, Before Jacob or Esau were born, God loved Jacob but hated Esau. This is the kind of God Christians worship. This is the terrible, terrible mindset that the, you know the Christian either has to accept or reject. If you accept it, what a horrible life you must live. If you reject it, good for you, but then you're, you're writing your own religion. 
you're throwing away the entire chapter 9 of Romans and a lot of other uh, pieces of the Bible to basically create a more civilized religion. Now, assume that you don't go along with the all-sovereign God who actually pulls uh, strings and makes people do things, uh, and we have no free will. Okay, good for you. I, 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 don't, I don't think that's a, a good way to, to go anyway. You're still stuck. There's still no free will in Christianity. Because what choice is it to hold a gun to someone's head and say, you're going to believe and worship me and love me because your only other choice is to go to hell and burn forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and then ever.